Hey, let me know right now, guys. Are you hungry in the comments? Yes, if you're hungry, because the merchant over here, 33 minutes left, is selling the EDP cupcake. F minus just purchased it. <gasps> He got the second one. We are good to go to evolve one of our units. However, F minus is really down bad right now. So if you are watching the video, please help out F minus. He's down bad. Like the video and leave a comment right now, F minus. Or should I say code next? Would seriously appreciate it. Yes, 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 yes. Leave a like in the comment. Thank you guys so much. But I'm also down bad for gems. You guys don't know this, I got, since the last video I made on Anime Adventures, Mochi. And I'm not talking about the ice cream. Well, <laughs> we got the cupcake, we got the ice cream right here, but we got Mochi Katakuri from uh, One Piece. Now check this out, he's level 3, it's a mythical unit. I spent, seriously, all of my gems just to get Katakuri. It was so damn expensive. So I thought, you know what, let's do a video on how you guys can get all the gems in anime adventures f minus is about to share his expertise with you on all the ways you can earn the gems because right now that edp cupcake it was 2250 gems by the way if you don't know the merchant shop over here he does sell evolution items you can take your mythical units or secret units if you have lelouch and then you can evolve them at beerus and he will make them stronger. It's like the little platform behind Beerus. It's the same thing. But yeah, check out my inventory. I have two cupcakes over here. It's used for Katakuri. You need two of them, so it's about 5,000 gems. Seriously damn expensive, but when you evolve Katakuri, if you guys manage to get Mochi, you will have a slow effect. Kind of like Todoroki. So if you don't have Todoroki, or if you don't have Mochi, it's a mythical unit, really tough to get for free to play. You can just try to use uh, your boy Mochi, or Todoroki, sorry. And I think I have a Todoroki. They both have the slow effect. I don't know if they both stack, though, with the slow effect. Keep in mind, this is not a showcase on Katakuri. I'm just showing you guys the best way to get gems in the game. And in order to do that, we're going to have to play a little bit of infinite mode, a little bit of story mode, this and that. You might have watched a couple of YouTubers already out there, guys. Um, they've probably given you all the best gem methods. Just this is my take on it. Um, you guys might know you can do story mode. You can complete the quest. There's literally so many ways you guys can get gems. And then I guess technically, if you guys get VIP, would you like this VIP game pass? See, this is how F minus gets you guys to like the video. Like the video right now. Join my game. All you have to do is just let me know you need this. It's only two ninety nine Robux. We still have like what eighty thousand uh, Robux in a group or something like that, bro. F minus will be able to hook up a couple hundred of you guys twenty percent off summons, and that's what I was getting at. So VIP, it saves you about ten gems. I am not buying that. It saves you about ten of these uh, gems over here. Um, I think the normal price to summon is 50 gems, I think. And then after that, it goes down to like 40 gems a piece. And guess who's in the banner right now? We got the mythical Madara. We also have Aaron Jaeger. Um, excluding the rares, the epic and the legendary, there is a mythic. So I can definitely use a ticket right now. Let's go ahead and try it out. Woo! Please! All right, we got Vegeta. All right, I did not expect to get anything good anyways. But yeah, let's go ahead and get right into it. It's not in any order. Like I said, this is more of a gameplay type video. Go ahead, feel free to play it in the background. Um, I guess let's just start over here. So if it's not really gems, but this right here, this summoning ticket, you guys should be buying this. This right here is a free summon in the banner and it costs gold coins. 500 gold coins. I'm going to go ahead and purchase it. If you guys want gold in the game, all you got to do is get units and sell them. I can give you a good, good example right here. You see our Nezichi or our Nezuko? I'm going to sell her on the black market. She's going to give us 50 gold coins. So any of the units you guys don't need, just go ahead and sell them right there. All the gold, just go to the merchant and then you guys can buy those summoning tickets. Each summoning ticket uh, technically is about 50 gems a pop. So those are 50 free gems and I guess that's one of the ways you guys can get gems in the game. Woo -hoo! Yes sir, I'm gonna play this infinite mode. I cannot wait guys. I guess here's the next way you guys can get gems in the game. Just redeem the codes. What are the codes in the game, F minus? Well, if you've ever watched King Luffy's videos, he does a code video every day. All you gotta do is go on his video. But the only codes that I know, there's two right now. I don't know if the other ones have expired. Marineford is one of them, though. Make sure you guys redeem that. There's another one. I think it's called Data 
fix. I think it is. Yes, data fix. So you guys can redeem those two codes. I'm pretty sure there's more, co more codes in the game. Go ahead and find them out. Uh, but that is the second way. You guys can get a bunch of summoning tickets as well. I'm not sure if they still work. I think, let me see, sub to Blam Spot. I don't know if that's one of them. Blam Spot does have a code and it says code already redeemed. If you redeem those YouTuber codes, you get the summoning ticket. That is 50 gems a pop. Another way to get gems. And probably if you have seen any YouTube videos out there, doesn't matter which one every person in the game agrees the best way to get gems in the game besides the time machine this right here by the way this is great uh if you guys are afk so let's say you're going to school let's say you're grounded but you guys can play on your phone or something and then just afk go in the time machine uh, i think it gives you like 10 gems every like almost three minutes if you are premium uh or vip if you're not it gives you like five gems every like two or three minutes it's kind of low but i, I want to say like every 24 hours of afk inside of here if you are a free player you probably get like i don't know a thousand gems and if you're not free to play you get like two thousand or like three thousand gems Every like 24 hours, something around there. It's a couple thousand gems. That's just the general area. But this is good if you're AFK. You're going to sleep, go to the time machine. If you're not sleeping, don't go in there, guys. It's too slow. The best way to get gems in the game and what we're about to do, guys, which is why I'm also taking, um, I guess it's like a gameplay video. I'm going to take our Broly. He has a sniper passive, 60 range when you max him out. He can hit the entire map. Perfect. Uh, and then we also have a Magma Fruit user, a K... Akinu? Akino? Damn, I'm sorry, guys. He has Sniper Passive, too. He can hit the full map. He's not evolved yet. I'm still waiting for his Magma Fruit to show up in the Merchant. Then I'm going to go ahead and cop it. It's like a sneaker drop. I'm going to equip him as well. He's great. I need a farm unit because all of these units I'm taking at the very bottom, they are extremely expensive. And there we go. We got what? Todoroki, got a curry. We also got Broly. We got a cat, Akinu, a Magma Fruit user, and then our farm unit. So the best way, in my opinion, to get gems in the game, you've already guessed it. It is infinite mode. This right here, Planet Nomic infinite mode. You might be like, well, what about Marine Ford infinite mode guy or F minus? Well, the higher wave that you guys make it in infinite mode, the more gems that you get. And if you look also at the bottom left of the screen, there is a daily infinite reward thing. So if you clear wave 50, this is only once per day. Clear wave 50, you get 100 extra gems. Clear wave 25, you get 70 extra gems. Clear wave 10, you get those 30 extra gems. I guess for a grand total of 200 extra gems, all you have to do is clear wave 50 in each infinite map and that's like the the farming strategy people are doing unless you're scripting and i can say there's a lot of people scripting in this game guys but um yeah that's what you want to do um once you guys clear all the infinite daily rewards on every map then you guys want to just play on nomic the farther wave you make it the more gems that you guys get Marine Ford is great, but if you guys look at the leaderboard on the left side of the screen, it says only wave 87 is the highest. Wave 87 will give you like, what, 400 gems? However, Planet Nomic, you can see it's like basically wave 140. Wave 140, bro, that's gonna give you like almost 1,000 gems, or if not, a little bit somewhere above that. The most gems I've ever gotten in a leaderboard or a infinite game, and you can see right there, the wave I've reached was wave 94. I think it was around 800 gems. So just keep that in mind, that is a lot of gems. And then that was including the daily infinite reward at the bottom left of the screen. So without the reward, it was about 600 gems. I have already completed though, the daily infinite reward at the bottom left. Left. So, I'm gonna choose another infinite map. You guys should be doing the same thing. If you're really grinding or farming in the game, you guys need some, like, gems or something like that. All you gotta do is play infinite mode. Go with the group of people. Look at all these people in this lobby, guys. Everybody is itching to play infinite mode. This guy has Madara. Honestly, it doesn't matter what units your teammates have. Wave 50 in infinite mode is not that difficult to get. And that is 200 extra bonus gems that you guys will get for clearing the daily uh, reward at the very bottom left. So we can do Attack on Titan. You guys want to do Demon Slayer, uh, Hidden Leaf Village, or Marine Ford. The hardest one, the lower map that you go on the right side, the harder it's going to be, the more HP the monsters have. Uh, otherwise, you guys could do Attack on Titan. You guys see it right there, 146. Snowy Town, Wave 80. And then you have, uh, what is this? Hidden Sand Village, Wave 87. So the Attack on Titan map is actually higher than the Planet Nomic map. 
So we're going to go ahead and run the uh, Attack on Titan map. However, if you guys look at it, it's just like a one case scenario because there's like, what, four people that got one wave 146. However, for Planet Nomic, there's like a ton of people that are on wave 140 because after 146, it goes to 120. So I would still say after you complete all the data rewards and every single map here, go back to Planet Nomic. And you might be asking, why not do story mode F minus? I've said it before in my other videos. Once you guys do a story mode map, guys, you cannot get... You you can get gems again, but you're gonna get like 10 gems. Once you clear a map, you get like 70, you get like 80 gems or something like that. If you clear it on both difficulties, each difficulty here in story mode, they give you different amount of, um, basically you can clear it twice and you'll get this like uh, 80 gems, let's say if you clear normal, and then you get like 80 gems if you clear hard. But once you clear it one time, and you only can clear it one time, you can play it again, but once you clear it once, you're not gonna get that little like bonus for clearing it your first time. So, you guys look at my left side of the screen. I've already beaten this story mode map. I beat this uh, Attack on Titan. I beat the Demon Slayer. I beat Hidden Leaf Village. I beat Marineford. So, F- can't really get any more gems from story mode. That's the problem you're going to run into if you try to farm gems on story mode. So, let's go ahead. Um, I think I'm done talking. I've made my point clear. We're going to do the attack on time map. We're going to go infinite mode. It's already automatically on hard mode. We got our... Ooh, we got code next here. Yeah, let's go. We also got uh, Shanks, a uh, returning member for the video. And we have Inosuke looking real spicy over there, guys. I want to see if we can make... I don't know. The leaderboard's at 140, guys. Maybe we could try to get to at least wave 80. Maybe wave 90. And then the higher the wave that you guys get, the more gems you get. Now, I've heard some theories out there. Every 10 waves, you get an increase of gems. I don't know if that's true or not, though. You guys might know what I'm talking about. So, if you end the game on wave 61, you're going to get the same amount of gems if you end the wave on 69. So, I don't know if that's true. You let me know in the comments. That's why we're doing the video. We're about to prove whether or not that's true. And also, how many gems you guys can get on average whenever you guys complete a game. Dang. Look at that Titan over there. I'm a little scared, guys. But yeah, if you guys don't know as well, HP does scale whenever you guys play in groups. So you guys look in the upper right-hand corner. I am playing with four people. So I'm not going to say the HP for the uh, monsters are four times the amount. However, if you play this solo, the HP will be less. I've noticed, however, whenever you guys play in groups, you usually make it farther. It's because, like, the scaling is weird in this game. So I do recommend playing in groups which is why in the video description right now you can join my roblox profile if you guys join my roblox profile you join my games i will carry you in infinite mode on the nomic map i can get you guys to like wave 90 and that's gonna be like five six hundred gems without the daily reward and then if you guys i don't really play the uh, attack on titan map but i can get you guys on nomic i'll get you those gems first thing i'm gonna do though since this is a gameplay video we're gonna be farming gems together i guess we can uh place our farm unit you guys should also take a farm unit with you it could be bulma it could be speed wagon if you haven't heard bulma is better than speed wagon and then once you guys max it out just like all-star tower defense then you can start placing your units down we got kind of lucky with katakuri we managed to evolve him so i'm pretty happy about did, did we evolve him huh? oh no wait did i evolve him please tell me i evolved him oh my god guys f bodies didn't evolve katakuri oh i need the slow effects so we can make it farther in infinite mode so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna hop out of the game rejoin on the upper left hand corner i'm saying it right now damn all right guys let me rejoin the game let's evolve katakuri uh i need that slow effect so we can make it farther in infinite mode we'll get more gems hey codex back in the lobby guys little technical difficulties there i feel bad for those people that were in the game however i do have to evolve katakuri if you guys ever want to evolve your units it has to be a mythical or secret lelouch or any mythical you guys go to the platform here in like the time chamber area you put your unit inside of here and it only works once again on mythicals or secrets except for ace ace does not have an evolution i don't know why it just doesn't work you can see it right there there's no evolution however if you guys try to evolve your mythics they become stronger it'll help you get farther in infinite mode you guys see mochi over here we're gonna go ahead and evolve him it does take two edp 445 cupcakes and also 15 devil fruit he will get a 25 percent attack boost and the mochi slow um katakuri his attack is it's it's really bad like it, it's just straight up bad guys however the slow is pretty good maybe i can stack up with todoroki 
That's the whole reason. Dang, there it is, guys. Mochi Charlotte. Y'all already know the newest mythical in the game. This guy was like the last mythical to come out in the banner. We finally did it. And I did have to spend a little bit of Robux. It's because I got really unlucky. I, I wasted like 10,000 of my hard-earned farm gems. Just carrying people in infinite mode. And I could not get Whitebeard. So I had to spend gems for this guy. But yeah, we got uh, Mochi Charlotte. I think we're going to make some numbers with this guy. Let's try to level him up, though. I want to see if we can get him to at least like level 20, maybe 30. Let me see if I got any extra stuff here. I got a bunch of Sensu beans. You guys want to add that all? Let's see what we get. So we're going to go from level 3 all the way to level level 14 that is down bad but i mean hey we do what we gotta do i'm gonna quit brawly we got a magma for user we also got shanks a lot of people have said shanks is the highest dps in the game i think you guys forgot that you can only place three shanks yes shanks has a really fast attack speed and he does hit hard but you can only place three shanks that means he's getting a 25 percent damage reduction when you compare it to, uh, I guess, uh, Magma Fruit user, Akenu, um, or Broly. And on top of that, Shanks has a really small range. Broly hits the full map, and also, I can't, I'm gonna call him Akano. Akano, <laughs> he can also hit the full map too. Uh, who else are we taking? We're taking that farm unit. Oh, we're gonna take Mochi Charlotte. Oh man, I wanna take that Todoroki though, guys. So look at the bottom of the screen. Ah, oh, I need to be level 50 so I can help you guys, you know, carry a little bit more. I got Total Rogue at level 34. That means I got to unequip one of them. I probably take out Shanks because, like I said, Shanks is good, but I don't know. He's not anything special, guys. His stun only lasts, like, what, two seconds? The cooldown for the stun is, like, 15, 20 seconds. It's just, it's okay. But when you compare it to, like, Broly or, like, bro, dude, Akano, it's just so different. It's just so, oh, I don't know what to say, guys. I regret evolving Shanks. That's all I'm going to say i don't know let's put a passive on our um mochi though let's see if we can get something good so right now he currently has no passive we're gonna go ahead and unequip him hopefully we can try to get like some kind of range passive or an attack speed passive so we can slow the enemies even more apparently this guy is meta this is my first time i mean he just came out so i'm gonna save my if you guys have ever watched my videos on anime adventures i would say save your remnant stars or whatever these crystals are save them for legendaries like Irwin, save it for like, I don't know, any other new units in the game because they only cost one. If you use it on Mythics, it costs five. You're you're literally losing money if you guys spin. So you, I would recommend using Robux. I don't have Robux F minus. All you got to do is just join my games, guys. I'm telling you, just leave a like and a comment. And then you help me, I'll help you out. We got a range one passive on the first reroll. I don't want to charge more Robux. We only got like, what, three rerolls left? Come on, big money right here. Yes, sir! Now we got a uh, Katakuri hitting the full map. Dang, y'all don't know about this. Sniper passive is really good. On Broly, it adds like 15 range. On uh, Akano over here, it adds like 15 or 10 range. I think it's like percent based. And then uh, I guess Shanks, I'm not equipping him, but I do have Katakuri right here. We have Katakuri with sniper passive. All my units have sniper. So if you guys ever wonder why I place my units in weird areas, it's because they can hit the full map. So I don't need to place it in those areas where you people usually place them because they have like all these other different passives uh, i don't have those i have sniper passes so we're gonna go back to infinite i think we're ready on this one i cannot wait guys we got like who's this guy we got ginger ninja joining us we got uh ninja man and then we have uh some guy with the speed wagon hat all right that's ginger ninja we're gonna hop in with patrick star let's go get this bread guys what wave are we gonna get to let me know in the comments if we get to at least wave 50 like i said we got the 200 daily gem reward plus uh we're gonna complete them some quests and stuff and that's another thing yes you guys can do story mode to complete the quest in the game but is it really worth your time it might just be better for you guys to place all your units down in infinite mode max them out and then afk and then you come back in one hour and then boom you have about i don't know 600 700 gems yeah you could do the quest you probably get like what a couple hundred gems but you gotta go to story mode you gotta go in and out of the story mode you gotta keep doing this all these quests and then it just takes so much micromanagement. You got to click so many times. Bro, just place your units down in infinite mode. You are good to go. That's what I'm doing in the game. I'm going to place my Bulma down in the same exact area somewhere back here. And then once I max her out, we're good to go. I'm really excited about the evolved Katakuri though. I'll probably place him and Todoroki somewhere in the front of the map. I'm hoping that the slow effect, like Blackbeard 6 star and all star tower defense, hoping that it stacks with Todoroki. So we get like a double slow effect. If it doesn't, that's okay. I've seen on YouTube that Katakuri 
his slow, the cooldown is really low. So it's going to be really OP. Maybe we combine that with Dio if somebody has him. Maybe we combine it with Pain. Uh, we get the knockback effect. I don't know. Why beer? We get the knockback effect. Oh, yeah. You already know what's about to happen in this game. We're about to get to like wave. Okay, we'll probably get to like wave 60, maybe 70 or something like that. Like I said, the higher infinite mode map that you guys play on after Nomic. So like Demon Slayer, Attack on Titan, the more HP the enemies have, the harder it's going to get to get a higher wave. Let's go ahead and max up the boom over here, guys. We're gonna be big chilling. There's the next upgrade. Everybody, you guys should have some kind of farm unit. You might be, you might think that you can get away without bringing a farm unit. Oh my goodness, you guys are, maybe if you're like level 10, you only have like three slots available. Yeah, but once you guys have like five slots, some of these units are really expensive to max out. Broly, at the very bottom of the screen, you guys see that first unit I have? He costs like $70,000 to max him out for one unit, and you can place four of him. So that's like $300,000. Akano, uh, Magma Fruit user, he's a little bit cheaper. It probably costs like what fifty thousand dollars to max out. So we're talking like two hundred thousand dollars. And if you don't bring a farm unit, you're only making like a couple thousand dollars a wave. So even if you make it to wave one hundred, it still might not be enough to max out all your units. Uh, be the best example is Shanks. You guys happen to ch take Shanks for whatever reason? Because like I said, I mean, I'm not saying he's mid, but you can only place three. He costs like a hundred thousand dollars to max out though. So I mean, I don't know if you guys want to take that with you and stuff, but Broly for sure. Modero, I'm not sure how much, like how expensive he is, but I would assume he costs at least like 30, 40,000 yen. So definitely got that farm unit. Take your support units, play with a group of people. We got a dark panda here. I'm hoping they have, we can actually check their units out. Let's see what everybody bring. So this guy bring Jorno. Okay, solid unit. I probably put that with that B tier. Mihawk. Okay, good for that early, early game DPS and defense. Really fast attack speed. His damage it's it could be better his range could definitely be better especially for a legendary but i mean i can't complain i'm not the one who's defending there's a, we got one more upgrade left on our bulma and then i think besides these units i don't know if anybody bring levi usually people do bring levi on the attack on time map we have an Irwin over here, so that's great. Now, you guys don't need to bring Irwin. Let me let me clarify that. You don't need to bring Irwin. Just make sure one of your teammates brings Irwin. That's like a 20% damage boost. Make sure somebody brings Sakura. That's like a 30% damage boost. Make sure somebody brings Blackbeard. That's like a, what, 15% or something with this curse effect? You guys will get like a 50, ooh. Ooh, the amount of damage you guys are stacking up. You'll kill the enemies way easier, and then you'll make it to a higher wave. Because right now, these uh, monsters, they have what? Wow, 1,400 HP. That is a lot, and this guy is ugly. That's a lot of HP, though. Oh, this guy brings Shanks. Oh, and it's Evolve. He got the Evolve Shanks. That's what I'm talking about. These scouts that are spawning out, they got 1,800 HP. This, is, this game, I have a really good feeling about it. But yeah, this Shanks is actually rock. He's actually he's actually popping off, y'all. The Mihawks, I don't think it's gonna help us late game. Jorno not gonna help us late game. Uh Shanks might kind of kind of help us late game. Once again, he does stun enemies for two seconds. If you see this guy in the banner, I don't recommend getting him. Because a two-second stun, I mean you could just get Dio. You know what I'm saying? Yes, he does a lot of damage if he attacks fast. But his range is like it's like 25 range, guys. Why get him? When when you can get Broly. Broly hits the full map. I'm telling you. Just wait until later in the game when I max out one of my Broly's and I can actually so show you. He has 60 range, guys. I can place Broly anywhere on the map and he will hit the full map. Oh my god. We had the first boss coming out from Attack on Titan. Look at that right there. 11 for the shield. I'm not sure what that means. I guess you have to hit him like eight, seven times and then the shield goes down. Then we can start attacking his HP. That's what I think. That's the one thing I like about anime adventures. Let me know in the comments your favorite reason you play anime adventures there's like all these mechanics all these different things that all-star tower defense does not have and that's why i like anime adventures it's just a lot funner uh, but yeah we got forty-seven thousand yen forty-seven thousand dollars at the very bottom of the screen we can now place a unit down the first one i wanted to show you guys was broly so if you guys i know this is a gem farming video i already showed you guys the best ways but also it's a gameplay type video because when we finish up this game, we're going to get a certain amount of gems at the very end. And then I can offer you my tips like right now while I'm playing. This is why Broly is one of the best in the game. Um, Until Akano came out, 
Because the Kano is apparently better because he has the burn effect. But here is Broly. Um, actually, you know what? Broly is probably better. He does have a full AoE. So you can attack in every area of the map. So we have what? All the enemies coming from that side. This is the pathway that they're gonna follow to our base. You see the scouts over there. So this is the base, and then you guys see the front of the map there. So if we're gonna put Broly down, it does not matter where you put him. But usually when I play Attack on Titan, I put him somewhere around this area here. I'm gonna go ahead and place him down. You guys will see. Look at that range. 15.9 range doesn't really make much sense right now but wait watch this i'm gonna upgrade him to three times 21 range keep keep track of that range 23 25 he has sniper passive and then uh was that 26 40 nine range he's already hitting the front of the map he is spawn killing every enemy with 4300 damage he is a level 60 evolved broly by the way make sure you evolve your units and look at that he's already hitting the back of the map however it's not even like it's not even finished we can still upgrade him there's 53 and there is 60 range or 59.8 range it is a bit overkill on this map because you don't need that much range. However, if you play on the Nomic map, definitely uh, get like some kind of sniper on Broly. Unless you get like one of the mythic uh, passives. Like, I don't know, you get, uh, what did they got? Like divine or something like that or unique? I don't know if unique would be good, but uh, look at this. Sniper passive, he's hitting the very back of the map. So there's no trouble at all. That's why Broly's one of the best units and he's full AoE. That was just an example of what units to get. Let's go try another one. We have, uh, what is his name? Akano. So this guy, I have not evolved him. When you evolve Akano over here, he will get a 20% range boost. So I don't even think you guys need to get sniper passive. He should already have like almost 60 range when you evolve him. I haven't had the chance to evolve him though because... I don't know, I'm just down bad for gems, and his magma fruit has not appeared in the merchant. So, uh, for him, though, I will place him... You would think I put... Like, probably some other players would probably put him right here. I will place him in the front, though. You place him in the front, like, somewhere, like, in this corner, he should hit the full map. We can go ahead and test it out. Here's the first upgrade. Keep track of that range. 25 range. There's the first, second, and third upgrades. 27 range. Now he's at 28 range. 30 range. He about to pop off, y'all. 37 range. Look at that. There's the max. Now he's at 50 range. And he's not even evolved, guys. When you evolve him, 20% extra range. So I guess he would have 60 range. Look at that. He hits the front of the map. Does he hit the back of the map? Yes, he does hit the back of the map. Look at the back of the map where they spawn. He does hit the entire map. The only bad thing about Akano, it's not really bad, but he's not full AoE. He does make up for it with his damage, though. He does have a burn effect. He attacks kind of slow, though, but look at that. Fat AoE, y'all. Look at this. It's not full AoE, but it kind of fat, guys. It's like King is a cutie. He got a fatty. But that is a Kano over there. Place your units right there. The one and only is what we were really looking for, Mochi. Do we have the Evolved Katakuri, the third unit in our inventory? I'm not sure. This is my first time placing him down. I have seen some showcases, though. Um, I guess we could, like, lay him right here. We got Peak from Attack on Titan. They're looking kind of hot. Okay, let's uh, evolve him. I'm not sure how much it costs. 2100, 2750. You got the Fire Mochi, 3500, uh, 4750. 50, okay, 5,200. Damn, this guy's expensive. How many upgrades? Okay, Mochi Barrage, 9,000 yen. Oh, wow, this guy's really expensive, 12,000 yen. Damn, really? That's not the last upgrade? Oh my god, this guy's really expensive. And with his sniper passive, um, I guess technically he does hit... Just taking a look at this, he does hit the front of the map, but I will keep... Ah, I probably should place him a little bit better, but I don't have enough money. I think this might be his last upgrade, though. So he's doing... Yeah, that's the last upgrade. So, Mochi is not a DPS character. He doesn't really do that much damage. He's already level 14. He's evolved, but he's only doing 1,500 damage as a mythic. There are some legendaries in the game, like Goku Blue, that do more damage than 1,500. And this guy's evolved. Keep that in mind. Evolved mythics, they're supposed to be damn OP. He attacks pretty fast. His range with the sniper passive, it's decent, 32.6. I probably put him, like, somewhere a little bit back here so we can hit the back of the map, but... We gotta get that slow effect applied. And I think, uh, I don't know if it's showing that the slow effect is applied. But I do see these enemies moving a lot slower. So, we're gonna go ahead and stack that though with Todoroki. That's the whole combo I wanted to do. Todoroki right here, just like All-Star Tower Defense. I'm gonna set him to last. So he's only attacking the units in front of him. And then after that, dang, you already know we have that double slow effect. And if it doesn't stack, that's okay. As long as 
Mochi slows the first set of enemies, and then he's on cooldown for his attack speed. Then Todoroki could slow the second set, and we got like a permanent uh slow going on, just like Blackbeard Six Star. Kind of. <laughs> it kinda is, but kinda isn't. I'm gonna place the next Mochi somewhere back here. It's just gonna be really expensive. Let's take a look at some of the units our uh, teammates place. We got a bunch of Irwins here. Somebody bring Madara. Uh, Madara is maxed out, but it's not evolved. Uh, he has 30 range. That's another thing. Even if you ball Madara, you get a sniper passive. He's not hitting the full map. So you guys got to watch out for that. Definitely get Broly or Akano before getting all those other units. Those are still good units. Madara is still OP. He's that S tier. But, or he is S tier. That's what I said. But he, I mean, you might as well just go for Akano, guys. I'm just saying 50 range. 50 point. Oh my God. This guy evolved him. This is not even mine. I thought this was mine. So this guy evolved him. You guys can get an example of the damage. Look at that. Wow. Without any any kind of buff. My Akano is doing 5,500 damage. When you evolve him, look at that. And mine is level 60. He's doing 12,000 damage. Now the range, I mean, 50 range is still enough to hit, you know, the entire attack on Titan map. But if we were on the Nomic map, it would not be enough. Marine Ford would not be enough. Demon Slayer map, I don't think it would be enough. Demon Slayer is a little bit bigger. Uh, but yeah. Let me see what other units people have here. We got the Mihawks. You can place five. Somebody has Killua. Ooh, I don't know about Killua, but you know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna call you guys out for these units you guys bring. Like I said, I'm here to help care you guys. Make sure you guys join my games. That's what F minus is here. I don't treat you guys as fans. I treat you guys as supporters, as equals. Look at this Zenitsu over here. Hey, that's okay. Uh 122 damage. He attacks kind of fast. And then all these other Titans, look at the HP that they're coming out with. 15,000 HP. No problem at all. We are on wave 24 of the game right now. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I do need to save up a lot of like money and stuff uh this guy evolved his broly he has his max style he has some kind of damaging passive but he doesn't have sniper do you guys see broly with a uh, 47 range mine has sniper it has 60 range 47 range is not enough to hit the nomic map it's not enough for marine ford however it is enough for the marine ford and other maps so it's like a little trade-off whenever you guys are trying to spin for really good traits Go for sniper or go for damage. Whatever you guys prefer. You want more damage in the game? Well, I mean, if I'm going to be honest, there's no damage tasks. So I'm not sure why you guys go for damage. But damage is good. So you can kill the enemies faster. It's just whatever map you play on. Once they get out of range, you might be in trouble. Yeah, this guy's pretty OP. Dang, look at the attack speed too. 11.5. Mine is attacking a little bit slower. I got to double check that. Oh my goodness. I do feel like we're ready to place the next Katakuri down. So the next Katakuri, I'll probably place them a little towards the back instead maybe he can hit the very uh, back of the map for the slow effect let's see if that's Ooh, wait let's go take a look at it guys we're gonna go ahead and zoom in right here so anything inside of the blue circle i think it's just barely inside of the path so that's great if you guys ever have katakuri you guys can put them probably towards the front of the map uh don't put them back, back here unless you have like a sniper passive but yeah this one's hitting the full map which almost the full map you got that slow effect and then we're gonna place another todoroki to supplement it so todoroki his range you guys see it right there i'm gonna place another Todoroki probably somewhere right here and I'm gonna put that guy to last as well okay that's gonna be good we don't need it right now but we will be needing it a little bit later once we get past wave 50 and 60 we need that slow effect uh okay we're gonna max out that Todoroki and I think we could place four that's the fourth one five okay we could place four Todorokis the next Todoroki I feel like I'll place it I want to place it back there, but I feel like we should place it a little bit more up here because we we really got to slow them right out of spawn. We really have to. So I'm going to place a Todoroki probably right here in the very front. However, I'm going to set him to first. So I'll just leave my first so he's going to attack uh, reverse. And then I think that should be good. The last Katakuri I'm going to place. I think you, how many can you place? Three or four? Uh, Katakuri, you can place. Oh, you can place four. Can you place five? Okay, so you can place four Katakuris. Not that it really matters because there's damage. But the slow effect, the slow effect, you combine that with the knockback. I'm telling you guys, if we had Whitebeard here, we had Pain. We had, uh, I guess, Shanks. I don't know if anybody breaks Shanks. You had all the support units. You have time stop like Dio. And now that I look at it, I don't know if any... Who has Dio in the game? Hopefully somebody has Dio, guys. Because I really want to stack 
all of these slow effects, all of these like time stops. Maybe somebody has Diablo, Jotaro. Okay, somebody does have Dio, so that's perfect. Whenever they place Dio, if you look in the upper left hand corner of the screen, Dark Panda 77, that is going to be perfect for us. Get a little bit higher of a wave. Um, for the next category, not really sure. We already have one in the front right there. Slow effect. And then the Mochi Charlie over here, we got another slow effect. I will probably uh put the other two somewhere in this area. Definitely one right here. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look. Probably in this, if I can just like fit it somewhere. Is there any spot that's not red? Oh, right here. So I'm gonna put the next mochi right here, and you guys can see how much it costs. Look at the very bottom of the screen. I have 40,000 yen, but he's on upgrade four. There's the next upgrade. Mochi Barrage, 9,000, 12,000, and the last upgrade is 20,000. This guy costs like 100,000. It's like shanks when you upgrade him. It is so damn expensive. It better be worth it for the slow effect. Everybody wanna call him meta. When they're like a tier list and then like whenever they got like a showcase, they want to call him meta. I'm not saying I'm looking at King Luffy or anything, but this guy better be good. I bring Todoroki, even if it doesn't stack, that is okay. Because whenever Mochi's on cooldown for his attack, because it is once every six seconds, Todoroki can slow them. And that's what I'm trying to go for. Maybe we can go for like, I don't know. Look at I mean, just look at the enemies when they're coming in. Look at how slow they are. I don't know if they're normally that slow. Oh my god, this Jaw Titan is popping off. This guy's actually going really fast. He might be like, damn, he only has 30k HP F minus. Yeah, we're on wave 30. Wait till we get to like wave 70. Wave 80 if we make it that far. That Jaw Titan gonna have like a couple million HP. I don't know if we're gonna survive, guys. It might be a little tough. But yeah, we got three mochis placed down now. All I gotta do is place the rest of my Brolies. You see my mouse cursor? All of them are gonna go right there. Uh, all the Toroki's already placed. It's just Broly, uh, Akano. I'm gonna put all of them right here. And then I think we're good to go. Most of my other teammates, like Ginger Ninja, the Panda guy, and then this guy right here who's AFK, uh, Pro Projwal. They've already placed all their units, I think. So, I mean, that's Zenitsu. Oh, somebody does have Shanks. So that's perfect, guys. Uh, Shanks, I guess I... <laughs> In the beginning of the video, when we started Infinite Mode, I did say, hey, he got Shanks. So he's going to be able to stun them. Ideally, this is what I want. We're going to get the stun right from Shanks. Two seconds. Then we're going to get the deal, the time stop for five seconds. Or something. It's like almost five seconds. Like four or five seconds. Then we're going to get the slow effect from uh, Katakuri here. And then if the slow effect from Katakuri misses, I got Todoroki for backup. And then that's why I said, if we had Pain, that would be great for the knockback or White. Beard. So I'm gonna ask them right now. Does anyone have white beard slash pain? If I went ahead and typed it, you guys see that there? They do have a knockback effect. It's different from stun, different than slow. All of those separately will stack together, but not the same effect. So that's what I'm trying to go for. I don't know if anybody bring him. Hopefully, hopefully somebody bring that white beard or pain. If they didn't, that is okay. Maybe the next game that we got that we do, guys, that we, we could try to do it. We could definitely try to do it. Um, we have 43,000 yen though at the very bottom. I believe we have enough to max out out one Akano right here 56,000 yeah we definitely have enough let's go ahead and max this guy dang we ran out of money but check it out he's hitting the front of the map and he's also hitting the very back of the map and that's why you guys want to get Akano right there really good unit with the burn effect tax really damn slow now that I think about it once every like 15 seconds but it's okay he has good damage he does have the burn effect um and the upper left hand corner of the screen ginger ninja I got pain but he doesn't have him eat all right, that's what I'm talking about, guys. Woohoo! That's definitely what I asked you. I said if you bring him to the game, but all right, all right. F minus definitely understands. Uh, two more Akanos over here. Akanu, goddamn, y'all gotta let me know how to pronounce his name. Magma Fruit user, two more, and then three more Brolies. I would say maybe in about 10, 15 minutes, it we probably have enough money to max out because Broly is really expensive. Akano is not too expensive. It just I still have another Mochi I gotta place down to max out as well. So. The only thing that I could do right now is probably I'm going to AFK right now. And then I want to say in about 10, maybe 15 minutes or towards the end of the game, I can go ahead and come back to you guys because I've literally been talking for 34 waves straight. And unless you guys want me to keep on talking, I definitely can. I'd rather just skip to the last half of infinite mode where things are really starting to pick up. We got all these enemies having like a million HP or something. Ooh, I don't know how I feel about this, y'all. I don't know how I feel about this. We're on wave 73, but look. Look at all the enemies. They're getting so far in the map. They've already broken through the first line of our defense in the very front with all the Brolies, the Moderas, the, the Katakuris, and then the Akanos over, Akanos over there. And we have the freaking Warhammer Titan clapping our cheeks right now. Dio literally just got clapped along with Shanks. 
So I'm pretty sure we should be able to kill the Warhammer Titan. If you guys were wa are watching the video still and you guys did not have good units, you probably end the wave around like 60 to 70 and you probably cash out around five, maybe 600 gems, which is still good. The goal when you guys do infinite mode, like I said before, is just to get to wave 50. If you get farther though, you will get more gems. I'm not sure if it's every wave or if it's every 10 waves. So right now we're on wave 74. I don't know if you got to get to wave 80 to get more gems or if you can just i don't know get to 75 but yeah this warhammer should be good to go we'll kill that because we got the brolies all of our units hit the full map no problems at all it's just look at this guys look at the end the hp of these ennies 400 000. and look at how fast they're moving i don't know why they're moving so fast i freaking have had a curry here applying the slow effect but yet they're going so fast and i have a totoroki also placed back here so I don't know why they're moving so fast, but I mean, we did kill the Warhammer Titan. I don't know how much farther we will make it. I'm hoping at least wave 80, which is crazy. Because if you guys remember the beginning of the video, there were people that made it to wave 140. So we made it about halfway of what the leaderboard was. Though Those people are probably making like a, thou a couple thousand gems every infinite run. Maybe if they uh, shared our, their strategy with us, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Maybe F- will come up with a strategy. I don't know. High infinite wave will mean more gems. It will. That's going to be your best way to farm in anime adventures. If you have already completed the entire story mode. And uh, if you guys are watching the video, you probably haven't. I know a lot of you guys have not completed Marineford. Definitely go do Marineford, guys. You got to do Marineford. But as of right now, I think we're doing pretty solid. I don't think we're you know having any trouble besides just like these enemies coming in there's no other boss that's gonna come out uh if the shield titan or the uh reiner he comes out i'm pretty sure we're gonna die because when you guys play on the attack on titan map the only bad thing is the shield titan because he runs fast once you well, I, th I think it's like once he gets to a certain point in the map or once he gets to a certain hp or maybe once he takes down his shield he starts running like he runs really fast like you see my mouth or my my character, he runs literally this fast to your base, and it's gonna be impossible to kill. So as long as we don't get uh, Reiner, we keep getting like Warhammer, maybe like, I don't know, Colossal Titan. Maybe we clap those Colossal Cheats. Yes, sir, I would love to do that. You guys, let me know in the comments if you would like to do it. Yes, you would like to do it. Uh, But yeah, they're, I don't know, since I started talking, they were here, right? And it's been, what, another three minutes? So if we guesstimate that, three minutes there, three minutes here, every wave is about a minute i would say or actually every wave is like a minute two minutes i would say this is like what one wave two waves three waves and then four waves so we should be able to make it to wave 80 we'll get the 200 gem daily uh reward bonus and then for wave 80 we get like what 400 gems so i'm guessing we're gonna get like five to seven hundred gems from this one infinite game and yes it probably took like an hour maybe an hour 30 but that's gonna be way more gems than if you afk'd in the time chamber and i mean <laughs> that's literally your choice infinite or you can afk in time chamber provided you have already beaten the story mode and uh some of you guys have been in the story mode but yeah i feel like a uh, peak from attack on titan here oh we got a couple over here 200 000 hp these ones 300 000. as long as the hp i think is like less than a million i think we're all right so 700 000 200 000 this one right here has around 1 million so as long as we if you think about it it started off with 1.7 million hp it's currently at 1 million so this entire pathway we can take it down 1 mil right 1 mil 2 mil i want to say right here and then 3 million to the very end of the base so as long as the monsters don't have more than 3 million total hp or maybe around 2 million we should be okay so this has 2 million almost 2 million this has 1.8 1.8 as long as it doesn't say like 2 million woo, i think we can win 1.8 200 000 300 000. yeah I oh this one has 1.9 so this is maybe like the enemy we will not be able to kill this titan right here i'm gonna call it right there guys that's 1.9 million everything else should be good um they are getting pretty close to the very back of the map they are moving real damn slow they are really getting close to the back of the map guys but our boy Dio over here putting in some work. Yes, sir. And if you guys want to take a look at all the units that we bring, 
just so you guys can get an example when you join a random game of players sometimes most of the time whenever you play with uh newbies they'll have like dio it's because everybody knows about his time stop and he does a he does okay damage i mean late game it's nothing but early game it's pretty good and he does have the time stop um solid unit and then red scar maybe if you guys i don't know play with like a pro player they'll have it in evolved mythic they also have Jorno over there we got the brolies right here i got a katakuri for the slow effect right there total rokis around the map this guy has modder right here we have all the akinos over here with a uh, magma fruit user he's still hitting the entire map by the way this guy's going pretty dummy look at that the entire freaking map try to get that sniper passive guys or or superior three or if you guys can't get any of those i mean you can still roll with like range i don't know one two or three that'd be pretty good uh what else do we got we got erwin buff shout out to whoever's using erwin buff 20 percent damage boost we don't have a sakura we don't have blackbeard but that's okay because we still have Todoroki, Katakuri, we have Shanks for the stun. I don't know if you guys saw that. They were just stunned for two seconds. Killua, uh, is not really doing anything. But whoever brain Killua, oh yeah. If you're a newbie player, that's good enough, right guys? You take it like this. After we complete this game, we'll get like, what, 600 gems. Those 600 gems, and let's say you get, you could play like two games of infinite a day. You're basically getting like 1200 gems per day just doing infinite for two hours maybe. And then the rest of the, what, 22 hours in a day, just AFK in the time chamber. If you're not premium, you probably get like, I don't know, like a thousand gems or something, maybe a thousand five hundred. We're talking a total of like three to four thousand gems you guys will make in a day. And that's pretty easy. You can definitely make more, but I'm just talking about the average person who maybe only has one time to play one infinite game maybe two infinite games so yes guys if you are watching join my games and uh anime adventures f minus will carry you or one of his friends will carry you i'll get you to like wave 80 wave 90 it's not the highest but i'm not a pro player guys i will be i will be you <laughs> yeah you know at the very top of the screen we have the warhammer titan who just pulled up i guarantee or 99 percent sure we will not be able to kill that but i don't think it matters because the enemies are getting pretty damn close to uh, our base like remember when i <laughs> started talking they were like right here well now they're almost at the end of the path right here so it's like i said maybe i don't know what do you guys think let me know in the comments can we make it to wave 90 you guys think wave 90 yeah let me know right now in the comments guys <laughs> I mean, these we can kill. Where's that 1.9 million HP Titan? This has 2 million. Uh, 2 million, or maybe, I don't know. So this has 1.9, 1.9. So these were the Titans I was talking about, but I think they're going to die. 1.9 million, just barely. It's the only thing, I, the only reason I'm saying that, by the way, is because back here towards our base, the only units that are doing damage, um, like really good damage, I'm not talking about Shanks. He does okay damage, but I'm talking about really good damage is Broly and Akano. Madara, his range is not big enough. Even if he's evolved, he's not gonna hit the back of the map. Uh, Akano, he's still hitting the back of the map. That's great. And the Brolies, but like all these other units in the very front here, we got like what Dio, uh, anything that does damage. Uh, I guess just Madara and maybe Katakuri a little bit. Ah, they're not doing damage. It's just Broly though. So that's what we're working with. Ooh, Peak is getting kind of close. Who wants to go on a date with Peak? Ooh, Dio about to... Oh, he, he hitting her from the front. All right. I see you, Dio. <laughs> uh, scouts look like they're having a problem. They are getting pretty much to the last turn into our base. Once again, I am not sure if you get gems per wave. Maybe like five gems every wave or something like that. Let me know in the comments. I will figure it out for you guys. Um, I'll look around and then maybe I'll post it in the comments or something. But as of right now, I think it's every 10 waves. I think that's the rumor i heard i don't know if it's true but that's why i'm doing the video we can figure it out uh these enemies can we kill them big titan only 10,000 hp that guy's dead that guy's dead as long as the hp bar is really low we can take them out 500,000 is a lot but i'm pretty sure we can kill that uh we can kill that like i don't know about this warhammer titan y'all warhammer titan looking kind of big oh my goodness welcome to sim minus mike and today we'll be counting down the top 10 fixed characters in all-star tower defense y'all remember that video who was number one hey tell you what guys if you tell me and you're still watching in this part of the video join my games just tell me uh warhammer titan is thick i will give you vip for free okay that's all you gotta do just tell me warhammer is thick warhammer is number one 
and that's because the tier or tier list I did back in the day. I don't think we're gonna kill Warhammer. Um, like I said, it doesn't matter though because I think this card, this is gonna kill us. I think this is it. I'm oh wait 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 we we might I don't know I don't know. Peak is getting really close. Down horrendous. Oh, this is it. 16,000. Oh, wait. No, not yet. Okay, this Titan's gonna kill us. All right, guys. It's been a really long game. I don't know how long this video is. Like an hour or something. But damn. This is it right here. Hey, shout out to everybody in the game. Thank you guys for all the support. Now you guys know how to get gems in the game. And the best way to get gems, just do infinite. Preferably with people. If you do it solo, you could... I mean, you could do solo. But if you do solo, can you really AFK? Somebody has to defend in the beginning of the game <laughs> while you're farming so i would say just do it with people um it's just funner i guess and then you can afk in the beginning just let them defend that's what i do at least so shout out to you guys oh uh, i don't know peak for peak is pulling up i mean woo, who's up there somebody moved their Akinos. damn twelve thousand damage and then you guys see the brolies up there in the very uh top of the sky so we are putting in a lot of work but i do believe we are going to lose right now there it is Woo! Y'all see that? 74 minutes, about one hour. But how many gems did we get with the daily reward? 590. So if you guys make it to around wave 80-ish, you will get around 400 gems. That's the best I could do for you guys. 400 gems in an hour is pretty good. If you do it in time chamber, you probably only get like, what, 100 gems?